Hi guys, um, it's Tuesday, and if it's Tuesday, you know it's the City Lighters Bible Study, and I am back, and the team is back as well. How are you guys doing? Like the good leader I am. Let me tell you one thing, Nanette, you, you have to recharge. You have to go boost your batteries, you know? <laughs> Anyway, like, um, <laughs> Becky was doing an amazing oh job. God, she, did. Fact, she did. In fact, she did. In fact I did. think this is uh, one of the first, after like two months, to go on the same panel. Na, I know. Na, na Becky. Most of the times, you say that I'm away, she's handling yeah. it, or she's away. Yeah. I'm the one handling it's nice it. Nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you too, guys, man. Yeah. Karibuni sana. Asante, Asante. Asante. To everyone watching at home, Karibuni sana. Thank you so much for, for just tuning in to Bible study. This is what we do every Tuesday, just in case you just stumbled upon this channel or this video. This is the City Lighters Bible study. Study and we do Bible study every Tuesday between six and uh, between seven. seven and between seven and eight. And basically, what we do, we just go through the chapters of the Bible. We start with a book and then we break them down in form of chapters. And then whatever we've learned in that chapter, we share with each other. And then we, you know, we bless each other. Guys challenge us, we challenge them. And then we try to apply this word in our daily lives. So currently, we've been doing the book of Mark, and today we are starting chapter nine. So Karibuni Sana, but before we move any further, uh, ensure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, comment, yes. like, and share this video. Sasata kabla tuende mbali zaidi, Bex, you tuwambe maze, tuwache your blessing. Hi, tuwambe basi. Yeah. Uh, dear Lord, we thank you for this opportunity you've given us again. One that we don't take for granted to come together, oh Lord God, to study the Bible together with each other, but even also with our audience, oh Lord God. We pray even as we begin this evening, oh Lord God, that you'll be with us, oh Lord God. May you deposit wisdoms wisdom nuggets in our spirits, O oh Lord God. But even as we deliberate on the word, O oh Lord God, may it be you speaking through us, O oh Lord God. And we pray that whoever is on the other side listening, O oh Lord God, that also they'll be edified and they'll learn something, O oh Lord God. Pray with us and bless us. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we'll start from the far end. You know, we we'll just do the formal introductions. How you've been? Whatever. If you have a song, if you have a dance, like the floor is big enough. Like what's our camera already? Anything. A skit, a play. So we'll start with the with Mishiri. Professor. Sorry, we'll start with Moshiri. <laughs> Our yeah. resident professor. My, yeah. my name is Moshiri. I'm, I'm really glad to be here. Yeah. Sing a song. A dance. Dance. Maybe a new song. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Hey. Ah. Ah. To, ah. It comes to. Ah. 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 Ready to kuchambua the word of God. Have you been since the last time you were here? I've been good, good. Yeah. Nime kwa fiti na shukuru, yeah, loving life. Kuna highlight, hakuna nothing exciting. Hau kushikuwa na kanjo, nothing, like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe KRA walikurishia some money, I don't know. If but help, wame kutext. I need money, I need a lot of money, guys. Like, a lot of yeah. money, yeah, a lot of money. Tufungwe pay bill? Please. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, please, like I need a lot of money. When I need a lot, a lot of money. I hope you space. Uh, no. <laughs> Why? 25 million. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, at TY, very soon. You will know very soon. Okay, no, uh, no problem. We'll keep you in prayers. The matters shall be revealed. Bex, <laughs> bless us. Hey guys, hi guys. What's up, what's up? My name is Becky, of course, yeah. with a good hair. Okay, yeah, still yeah. with a good hair. And I'm born again. I love the Lord. Yeah. I also love food. Yeah. And I love tea. Mm -hmm. So if you are watching this and you're like, oh, you want to bless me with a cup of tea? Yeah. Namba yagu itakuwa pa kwa comment section and tashukuru sana. But beyond that, I mean, ikona wimbo. Yeah. Unajua vile, me, vile umiongea po menihimiza, nika kumbuka wimbo tulikuwa tunaimba tukia wadogo. Na ni wimbo very simple. <laughs> na ilikuwa tuna ni wimbo about wimbo. Which one? Ni na wimbo, nataka kuwimba. That was a song. Ju ya yesu mokozi wangu. Mose Becky. Huyu ye, huyu yesu ni mokozi. Ay, amu kuimba, koni mle nanga shule gani na sali school gani. Shule yulikuwa song. Hey. Oh, that was the gospel industry in the 80s. <laughs> Men take it. I have no more words to say. I've just been no, called a false seal. Deep, you know, it was really, really. Did they have a dance to it or something? Of course, you just wait. Oh, we're okay. Baptist, yeah. so. Remember, you know, you know, I actually started as a dancer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are like class five, <laughs> Mazi. Stop lying. I love you know those days, no, eh? No. Every dance crew on stage would start like this. Like, you know, you start with you oh, start like this, and then, oh. and then the big drops. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good old days. I like dance ministries, Mazi. I need like to recruit, Mazi. You teach us all these things. So, City Lighters Church also has a dance ministry that's, oh, yes. that's really, really vibrant. And now that you've mentioned Amazing. that just before we proceed, a special yeah. shout out. Mm. Special shout out to yeah. two people. Yeah. Iante and mm -hmm. Kate Dope because since we began, yeah. Yeah. okay, they're in a league dance ministry, but yeah. they have they are always on the comment section. Even last week, 
Always. Kate was still there man. Imagine. So tunawashukuru na muendelee hivyo hivyo. Big shout out to the Alik dance team. Mm-hmm. Tungewa charge for this mention but because of Kate and Yante this is for free. This is our seed into your ministry mazee. Let's get straight to it man. We're doing the book of Mark. The book of Mark is amazing. Mm-hmm. Imekuwa very beautiful. We're getting to understand uh, the life of Jesus in in good detail. And we just finished chapter 8 last yes. week. And you guys did an amazing job with Benta as well. Big shout out to Benta. And then now today we're starting chapter 9. Yes. So instead of uh, reading the whole chapter, we're going to doing like simple breakdowns of of summarized uh, how we, summarized versions of the different sections of the of chapter 9. And so the first part um we'll have a doctor sorry moshiri every time i keep i'm about to call you is it so we so talk to professor doctor pastor reverend prophet i try to stop my tongue but it can't you know so moshiri can you can give us a breakdown of you know of what's happening in mark chapter 9 maybe from verse 1 all the way to to like uh, verse 13 you can just give us a summarized version paint a picture of paint a picture to us to understand wale wase wenye wataki kusoma verse by verse wale by verse jua mekuwa wengi sana ni wapatie summary yeah wapatie summary with so that they understand so, so this is a scene in itwa the, the transfiguration mm-hmm. yeah so jesus takes his disciples three of them yeah there's peter james and john then he heads into a mountain yeah then in the midst of it he's he's transfigured yep transfiguration is like uh he changes his nature into something else yeah and it's it's not light that shines on him it's actually a light that it comes from within to the outside yeah then in the midst of it there is elijah appears yeah. and moses yeah then peter impetuous peter yeah peter <laughs> he's like Let, let's build tents for these guys yeah because he was shocked yeah he was shocked yeah then all of a sudden these are cloud from heaven yeah and a voice speaks that this is my beloved son in whom I'm pleased, pleased with then it ends there yeah yeah but Jesus also tells them do not say a word about this yeah. until the son of man yeah. rises and when they are coming down they are so confused with what that means but i guess nile waliogopa tu kuuliza maybe maybe walikomuuliza maybe kwa mezo ya kuuliza a lot of damn questions or like okay hii tusiulize leo maze si uchoma sana maze we keep asking everything you know so they didn't ask <laughs> yeah but they they would, at the back of their mind they had that cause what did he mean when you know when we say that the son of until the son of man rises yeah, yeah. Uh, it was also high up a mountain i guess these guys were hikers I don't know like <laughs> was like guys what are we going hiking hiking <laughs> get your gear <laughs> you know oh my goodness no. um yeah i guess that's the first part of mark chapter 9 jesus is up a mountain with his with his three disciples being transfigured and you know in the midst of all that Moses and Elijah uh, uh, appear and then Peter because he's confused and doesn't know what to say and Peter has to say something Peter always had to say something it's like you know what i'm going to make three tents for all of you and then they walk down so after they walk down what's happening uh who is it Becky or Twiri Twiri so now after now they're walking um, yeah hey why am i talking come guy yeah i'm sorry wale mc wacha like so disappointed Yeah so let's let's go. Oh Turi. god, okay for like when I nilam ka umaki na kupa na steamer. No problem. Thank you Pauline. So um so as we once uh, Jesus and Mary and Anna disciples wake. Umeshuka. Eh uh, wameshuka. Yeah. Um so now um a man bro- brings his son who was demon possessed and he was there from a very young age and our happy theolo- oh, sorry Mushiri <laughs> <laughs> Mushiri akatwambia <laughs> Uh, the thing about demons they, they don't attack you as an adult unaza ngokiwa nga mtoi si ndio ama what did you mean by that okay, about you the they part don't uh, what happens are you saying it begins. it begins, it begins. Yeah. begins yeah but guys we'll come to that yeah. we'll yeah. come to the to the to to what this meant yeah. we want to paint a picture first of all what's happening okay, so we happened? finished the transfiguration yeah. mm-hmm. jesus has gone down the yeah. mountain mm-hmm. he meets a, a huge crowd yeah. of guys mm-hmm. Yeah, so they meet a huge crowd of guys yeah. well, cuz uh, now they speak up and that's now that's when now the man brings 
uh, the yeah. son and na ko demon possessed mbaya mm-hmm. then what the suppose ako cuz like eh my friend tuli jaribu lakini ile gonga ukuta yeah and i think um verse 19 speaks to me let me just say it sorry na just to fix some but this part really ili nifanya nionewa even me ta ili ni gonga like yeah. Jesus said to them you faithless people how long must i be with you how long must i put up with you bring the boy to me nile ya ni kama walikuwa na doubt what god is cap- what jesus sorry is capable of doing so now then after that now that's when now jesus heals the boy but still guys are like am i daddy cuz hasongi amekufa nini so that's when now jesus picks the boy up and walks wanatembea naye so the crowd is you know because they are from this to that so that's how now i'm painting now the picture yeah. of now um from verse in anza from verse 14 to 20 paka chini ya paka 30 so yeah because of mute and the deaf spirit yes deaf so yeah. um, um guys um, um, um to hear kwa anaweza kuongea yeah, 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 because of the demon yeah and this yeah. really you can tell that the father the dad is devastated about this sana you know? sana sana um what else jesus also asks how long has he been like this yeah. just like a doctor mm, diagnosis um, cheese yeah <laughs> outpatient <laughs> yeah i think that's the spirit sh- shrieked out so when when jesus when 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 the when the jesus rebukes the spirit and says you deaf and mute spirit i command yeah. you to come out of him mm-hmm. and never enter him again yeah. so the spirit he come he come shika yeah. like conversing he come like chini yeah. and then it's like when alikona to like povu kwa ndo mbona venye anaongea mazeni kan ilikuwa hapo last week <laughs> It's like, like yeah. an epileptic. Yeah, yeah. it looks yeah. epileptic. Yeah. 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 You actually confuse it. Yeah. This was so much drama, man. Like I can yeah. imagine if you were like a disciple of Jesus at that time like mm-hmm. umetoka kwa mountain, umeona kichange, yes, then umekuja huko down, he's fighting demons, you know, this kid is about to, hey man, it was chaos. Inge yeah, suggest mrudi kwa mountain bado. Eh, hey, maze. <laughs> I know, right? Safe there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking an off. Safe yeah. there. Yeah. Yes, then I think Becky can take it. Yeah, so Bex. Oh yeah, yeah. then Break I think now from, from there I think now eh uh, wanaendelea then i think when jesus sorts them the disciples now and it, it, it says there he takes them to indoors yeah. like, privately mm. they ask him hey, like in why could we do this because even yeah. then i think okay we work with you and True. then like history hi 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 happen mm. then that's why he was telling them some some of these things come out only by in, prayer imagine and then after that now that's when they left and passed through galilee because i think jesus wanted some quiet time with them like nile uh, we've been out in the field i think this is what we call like debrief sessions yeah. Yeah. jesus was like mm. sir i mean kwa feel and kwa like a practical alafu wanna wanna debrief it. like in current day mm. this is how we have to do missions and yeah. then now that's where now in that journey uh he he was listening now as they left now galilee and then went to capernaum mm, yeah. and mm. then there He had been listening to them talk amongst themselves and they were arguing yes. who is the greatest but hakuwa nyamazisha he waited for them to fike kwaje tunaenda mm-hmm. then that's when so he started they were arguing that. on the way on the way yeah kila msia ko eh by the i think they were thinking ay if it's jesus akienda na nanga na kina pita yeah and then after james na james na joni kwani sisi ama one your greatest kutuliko juwani na kwa maybe fever i think they were all arguing with because i think they were thinking if the time, by the time jesus is going the, he needs to leave one of us in charge yep. so i think each of them was validating why it should be me and mm. i think as we will discuss it's something yep. that happens within our midst you're like maybe pastor george may say hmm mm. i want jackie mm. to be leading teens ministry yeah then said go like initially come church juicy alafu akilid that means and as a next thing kwa pastor i'm like but me ni kwa theology school oh no i think yeah. there's a lot of usually among the brand us. number said the park so i think jesus was calling them out and asking them why why they were arguing because they, they also kept quiet after that so when he sat down he, that's when he t- started telling them um that if anyone wants to be first he must learn to be the last the servant yeah. of them all yeah. then like kwa hapo think maybe they were being hosted by one of the many people because he took a kid and placed him and started saying like humility ni kama yes. ukikuwa kama mtoto and know yeah. how we know children are very they don't care who is oh yeah then in as long as you, they are happy they have been fed a lot of times kids are never like i'm the best kid in the st- in the estate no yeah. the kids are just kids and i think to be like a child is to be humble is to learn to want to want to be led yeah. so i think humility is also going back to the smallest of you yeah yeah that's that's that that, that then after that they, again jesus starts talking to them around now who is they started no arguing which is this is where ben is coming in yeah, we yeah. want to <laughs> yeah, yeah so i think it's the same the same moment inside this house inside this house because mm-hmm. i want to talk about it john john tells jesus by the way we saw some some other guy who was casting out demons in your name 
but to come kataza because he's not one of us. So you can see already John trying to play gatekeeper responsibilities over there, you know, like, you know, he feels special because he's been with Christ long. I feel like he's the one who should give you the authority to either join join the, the gang gang mm-hmm. or not. And then Jesus is like, don't stop them. For anyone who does a miracle in my name, can in the next, and for no one who does a miracle in my, na- my name, can in the next moment say anything bad about me. So Jesus is just telling them that allow people to, to, to you know, to cast out demons in my name. They, they're probably our, they're probably part of us. Yeah. And then also, now after that, verse 42 now talks about stumbling, where Jesus is talking about if your left eye causes you to sin, pl- yank it out. Yeah. It's better for you to enter heaven without one eye as yeah. opposed to your whole body being thrown in, in, into hell. If your right foot, uh, let me let me put them in the chronology chronological order, order in which they fall. So it starts hand. with your hand. hand. If your hand causes you to sin, you, to stumble, we have verse 43, mm. cut it off. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It's better to enter life crippled. And then if your eye causes you to stumble, pluck it out. And then, you know, instead of in, in, instead of two, two eyes, eyes and then being thrown yeah. in hell, where the worms that eat them do not die and the fire is not quenched. Then Jesus finishes this chapter 9 by saying, salt is good, but if it loses its saltiness, how can you make it salty again? Have have salt amongst yourself and be at peace with each other. Either. That's the summary of, of the book of Mark chapter 9. Starts on a mountain. Uh, these guys walk down. Find They find a crowd. This crowd is kind of... There's an argument happening between the teachers and, and the disciples who are left. You remember there were three? Yeah. So these are, this one's on nine. And then these disciples were mentioned to a certain demon. And so there's this debate. Jesus calls the, the father and I to a koyom toto. And then, you know, they leave that place. They go to Galilee. Then they pass through. They also go to Capernaum. So when they were going, they were have some debates. Who's the greatest amongst us? And then, and then, and then Jesus talks about the, gives them, talks about, you know, the kingdom of heaven being like the one for children. So guys, so we finished chapter nine. And there's some things that, you know, there's some things that 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 stood out in this whole chapter that maybe we can share with guys or uh, share what we got from those. Uh, and the first one was um, was personalities. We can see different personalities being manifested in different people. Mm-hmm. And 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 we see Peter. Peter was more of. Uh, I don't know, they would call him a sanguine, like in the modern day psychology oh, world. An extrovert. <laughs> he was very extroverted. He was very, like he would yeah. talk in any situation. Uh, this was... time he is the first person, after Jesus After Jesus has been, is being transfigured, and then there is Elijah and Moses. Peter is the one who's like, by the way, we can make for you guys a tent, you know. Like he, Peter had to say and something. Yeah. How important are personalities um, to a believer? Wow, you didn't see that coming, guys, yeah? We're just mm-hmm. like, ha? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those are parts of a leaf. Eh? <laughs> Which animals eat leaves? <laughs> like, okay. We'll come from my apex. <laughs> the margin. <laughs> yeah, the veins. <laughs> Stock. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. Eight, four, four, uh. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. How, how important are personalities in a believer's life? And and do you think do you think God has designed us this way for us for for there to be some guys who are just loud and kerere and then there are guys who are very mm. calm and collected they don't have drama mm. then kuna kuna was a bit I don't know yeah do you, how do you think how, uh, okay let me begin first your transfiguration let mm. me share yeah. this I've always thought Peter James and John were actually Jesus carried them around because wali kuale Next ones. Talks, uh, index one, yeah, the top, top of the level. But then, uh, in a commentary, someone gave a very interesting perspective. It's because they, they were the most likely to get into trouble. <laughs> the three of them. The three of them. Even John. Peter, you know, Peter, John, and James mm. were actually fishermen before. Not all gonna join. I wonder why they the only fishermen for the whole crew. I, I think there were others who were there. Yeah. And Matthew was a tax collector. There's another Simon who is a who is a zealot. Yeah. But there's a, this ideology that if, if you look at even personality, what's a zealot? Peter, by the way, sidebar. Sorry, what's a zealot? Nene, a zealot. A zealot, yeah. Ni, 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 like like a political activist or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, thanks. So there were guys who were very insurgents. In oh. They, they were like. <laughs> no, last one. <laughs> Professor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
you know, the guys, they were these guys who were very really, uh, they were politically ready, I think, to overthrow oh. the Roman. Oh, okay. Government. Okay, makes sense. Government or something. But so these were fishermen, basically. These guys were fishermen. Yeah. And then in that time, fishermen were actually rough roughs. You know, let's say, hmm. live kind of a low life, kind hmm. of a life. Okay. So that kind of a life probably has a lot of. Yeah. You get into danger more often than. Hmm. So it may make sense yeah. that Jesus will carry them along because our watch. Eh, <laughs> yeah, it's just chaos. Yeah. And, and you find that personality in Peter. Where does personality play? I think God actually, it, it really, he takes it into account. Because yeah. if, if you look at why, why he made Peter, I think, a leader after the day of Pentecost, yeah. is because he's a guy who gets things running mm. without overthinking. You know, he's evil. Let's do it. Let's do this, let's do that, evil. If you had left someone with a more introverted personality, let's say like John, yeah, at a Pentecost, it ain't gonna happen. Ponge analyze for two years, five year plan, fifteen year plan. You just pray about it. Because you remember, at a Peter, since you alikata ule msa maskio. Yeah, you like Peter alikuanga. Hey, kama ni chap chap ni sai sai. Chap chap chap. Kama maskio katu maskio sai sai. Yeah, and and you did. And you did such kind of guys in church. Yeah, because they get things moving. At when you know kitchen, there's a five year, ten year, or just. Yeah. They, there's no movement. Yeah. Because again, there they can be too much planning. Yeah. And then yes. no action. No action, true. But then you need this guy yeah. who just moves. But then there's, a, there's an effect of your personality that the Holy Spirit comes, that the moment you he starts renewing you, mm. he transforms it. Yes. Because Peter, in as much as he begins as a sanguine mm. and he's very outward, if you look at the end of his life, he becomes a bit. Mellow. Introverted and mild, to the point he writes a book. <laughs> Imagine Peter actually writes. He has time. He has time. He gets time to write yeah. a book. Yeah. And if you look at a guy like Paul, Paul, yeah, he got like, it was he was introverted and then extroverted yeah, again. Yeah. And God needed such kind of a guy to actually sit down and, you know, write. Yeah. Always get your Peter story. When he half of the Bible. Yeah. It will not have been written. True. So it, it does play play a role, but I also say the Holy Spirit can transform your. Yes. It can shift your your, your personality <coughs> and leave you from yeah. one to another. Mm-hmm. You may be a very introverted, introverted, but then when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, a boldness comes. Yeah, it takes over. Yeah, it takes over. He shifts your your personality in a way. Very important, yeah. very important. Yeah. I like it. It's the same way also, like in church, for example, you mm. find some guys are normally very emotional about the word, you know, like they're mm. very radical. Like to them, everything is personal. Yeah. Mm. And in as much as sometimes they step on people's toes, I'm always like, we need such people. We just need yeah. people who can just call out stuff. You know, there are people yeah. who are always ready for violence. And then there are some who are very, very peaceful. They don't want drama, don't want yeah. confrontation. Yeah. I think the, I think it's a balance of, of bo- both worlds, mm. and and I think it's important also for for people in God's kingdom mm. to understand that that's also a very important role because the Bible has very different personalities across mm. across the the whole book. Some people mm. are quiet, some people are aggressive, some people are hot tempered, yeah. some people are just. So I think God just uses your personality the way you are. You don't need to change yourself. You don't need to be like a specific a certain person. I remember like when when I was growing up, I used to think people who are quiet are the best. Or those are the ones that God is really interested when in. When I you use know? it. Like every year, kwa resolutions zangu ilikuwa be more quiet in class. Alafu hiyo term inaanza kama umenyamaza week 1. Alafu sasa eh story za holy days zinaanza kushika sasa pia wewe you have to chip in you know. Wambe venye ulikuwa sijui concert gani pa class Baptist sijui ulikuwa wapi mavuno sijui what. And and then eventually I just realized this is just who you are and this is how God wants to use you. Yeah, I've been a big example. Yeah. Me all growing up, I've been an introvert. Yeah. Nani introvert, ila extreme. Yeah. But right now, Andy, <laughs> my personality changes. Yeah. It may change so much. It may, it may morph. Yeah. yeah, there's more of nimeanza kukunini. Actually, yeah. there's the, someone who will describe me as an extrovert. Yeah. But I've always someone who's known me well. Yeah. I'm an introvert, introvert. Yeah. 
a platform like this will do never never have worked, worked, worked yeah. for you yeah. Could yeah. Not have been and, you. It's, and it's interesting how god and so god uses yeah. all personalities mm. they, he doesn't have a favorite or of specific person that yana penda watu wapole watu wataka ngerere because singina nataka tu watu wa chaos in fact there was a verse pasi alishia ngana mimi in Ezekiel which i didn't it was shocking mm. god was telling Ezekiel that i'm going to make your forehead as hard as a diamond <laughs> because alikuwa na jum say wadenye nampea ndakuwa na mtuma two guys who will just be insulting him mm. you know you, you see when god puts a calling inside your life so i've been listening to to a, a, a journey by a certain activist in this country he's very popular very famous very good guy mm. and when now you get to understand him personally mm. you understand why he's like that his calling requires him to be like that like if you're facing giants in parliaments these people are, are some sort of giants and the way they've set up things those are giants you can't face them na upole na small small negotiation you know so when i meet people say that ah me don't like that guy ana konga na mdomo sana purpose yake ina ina munida kuena mdomo you know that's the only way he'll get to he'll get through to to those people so personalities are important it doesn't matter what personality you are True. just ask god to use you in, in that, that personality. personality if you're quiet if you're loud if you're if you're if you're whatever you are that god is interested in you Any, anything else you guys want to i just remembered mm-hmm. in the bible yeah the only guy who could take out uh, nani jezebel was a guy called jehu mm-hmm. and actually they say jehu uh, there's a place is described he rides like a ma- madman because he had zeal Mm. You, know, so you give him this task yeah. give you. so when when Jezebel became an issue for Elijah yeah. when he was at the mountain God told him if I think there was a, 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 some some kin yeah. then if Elijah does not take any yeah. there's a guy called Jehu yeah. Jehu was actually ile yeah. you give him a task kaende kaende kanaenda kanaenda and that's the guy who took out Jezebel because yeah. the rest would have been a bit soft yeah. and, and, and would have Yeah and at times even in this generation I think there are things God will just need that radical kind yeah. of you need to shift yeah things in into into yeah into yeah. perspective so the radical ones the subtle ones all of them are very important there's a this. place for them ah, yeah. another another thing also we see in this book is um the way uh, how God also is affirming the son you know because mm. in this um transfiguration yep, he yes. says that this is my son listen to him I does he say I love him or does he say I'm the one I'm This is my this son my, my love listen yeah, to yeah. him with who, who is, so that also shows and this is the second time that God is doing this yeah just yeah. affirming yeah. the son mm-hmm. and I think it's important also for for us in the spaces that we are at and the people we are raising or in the places that we, in the in our places of leadership it's very important for you to affirm people I think we live in a in a world where people are very stingy with compliments. Yeah. They are. Oh like people are stingy <laughs> extremely. I, I don't know why people are so <laughs> extremely totally. I don't know why people find it so hard extremely to, totally. to 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 see. yeah extremely totally <laughs> extremely totally too much. Too much. It's yeah? just a lot. You know the other day I was I, I was telling somebody that me if I meet you in the streets and I like whatever you do let's say you create videos or whatever me I'm always so quick to say and it's a habit I've had to train myself that by the way I like i like do. what you do or, or i like this song or I like this video but i feel like we're so stingy with such things you know oh, we are yeah. and, and, and you see at, at the extreme mm-hmm. of that lack of affirmation yeah y- you become a person who fears so much people's opinion because it's 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 something that that has built up yeah especially if you lacked your father fatherly figure yep growing up he was absent You, you tend how to have that kind of neediness of yeah. affirmation because any yeah, there's no one who's told you yeah you did this it's it's actually good yeah. you know yeah and it, it can become chronic it can very <laughs> such that you, you you can't step into a space yeah you know there's someone you can call to akujapa bs mm. but then lazima goje affirm you and like wase ka tao i will say at a kid said bado kuna plaka is doing well sweetie yeah. you're doing well <laughs> you're <laughs> wonderful that was yeah. a good point you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah oh yeah and we need to carry them and and, so. and and it goes back to what i was sharing jana in prayer mm. that there's that role the holy spirit comes yeah. to affirm your own identity yeah. so as much as you it's good for other people to actually do it yeah but you you also have to know he does it personally for you yep that's true like once you leave here if, 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 there's a bit of a 
shift whether this went well nini yeah. he'll tell you yeah it went well because yeah. wow. that could that affirmation you say internally mm. you don't really crave for it externally but then what will it take for you for for, for somebody to get to that level where your affirmation comes from from, from, from the inside you just relationship have to it. and relationship it's, with yeah. god relationship yeah. with god yeah. you, you just tell him yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I I I did that song and I don't think it went well. Yeah. He look for ways. Why, why, why you're looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just look. Yeah, he just look for ways to do it. It may not be him personally doing it. Yeah. yeah. But, but at that moment say, when you're not sure yeah. whether yeah. it went well, yeah. yeah. Something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, that's God affirming you through someone else. Yeah. Yeah. You get. Yeah. Not ille dramatic like we could bible yeah. Yeah. this is my cloud class and cloud cloud yeah. and storm ben yenye yenye kwanza kwa match kwanza kila mtu anaanguka kwanza wewe tu unabaki uko rada ni radio na spoil podcast on point because as it be jibamba na huko na pita huko not really that interesting but it may be through other people, people. Mm-hmm. or through even a sermon yeah other signs yeah. yeah. like that to do you have anything about affirmation for me about affirmations this is what i'll just say You must learn first to affirm yourself. You must learn to affirm yourself first. Because when you when you learn to affirm yourself first, even when you don't get affirmation from someone else, you're okay. Because that's something that I personally learned for myself. Like you first affirm yourself every morning. Like ukiamka tell yourself good things, you know. You know you know I used to see this affirmation things as like What do you mean? Does it work? New age. Okay, for me it has worked as worked. me. Yes, yeah. it has. Because you must I don't know, like however just like you okay being alone. Like wo ko sawa. Na 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 once hata ukitoka nje wo unajua umedunga, Ben wo unajua umedunga. Wo unajua umejitokeleza but you're doing it for yourself. Yeah. But even though you go out there and you hang out with your friends and they have not recognized and they have not affirmed you be okay with that. Yeah. Because if you wait for that affirmation It's it's also going to drain you. Then you're like, so what do I have to do to, you know, be better? Yeah. I'm a, like, okay, there's this in any joke I saw was like, why people or in dangi live IG, ju hakuna mm. views. Una yeah. like views di zero. Uko hapo tu unangojea. Una roda chukua chai, unarudi. I saw that and I really laughed and I was like, imagine it's true. Yeah. Like fuck I'm like, guys get scared of doing lives because you think you must need like traffic. Yeah. No, 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 no. But like when I feel ni account yako, do whatever. Mm. Like that's why I normally say I don't know why guys are so scared that you have to be a custom. Ah, mimi mtu wangu, oh, lazima ndio kuna 10k people live. Oh, lazima ndio kuna to like. Yeah. But like, that's why, like me for me. I don't care. Ina changwa ni sijui anga views G comments I keep they don't move me yeah. personally because I believe in the sense of you must learn to be content of affirming yourself first if somebody sees something good in you imagine compliment yeah. don't be stingy you know it's okay it's okay to be like imagine i like your hair like ben i like your shoes moshiri you are like usio go to kutata theology because you're so educated like in the bible at kama gender theology school but you feel like you really inspire us yeah. not to be back your personality your bubbly be that hey i'm bubbly because yes aki papa of course i'm bubbles yeah aki no more yes but i'm bubbles yeah because Like, like people cringe because they say oh uh, you know people are not a family so you cringe you do not become yourself be yourself like someone there to me always tells me that imagine be yourself come on dear yeah, somebody dear yeah. whatever <laughs> like, like, can you concentrate no no no, no, no. Uh, listen like learn to be content with yourself yes dear. like learn to <laughs> learn to love yourself in your own skin learn learn to love you learn to affirm yourself and that's why even when you get you don't get compliments you don't get those affirmations you're okay yeah so yeah that's what i'll just say we at 30 minutes Gosh. what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean we are 30 minutes like to memorize that 30 minutes to back to my fish of 50 bus <laughs> Okay. Okay. Like this is gonna be so much fun. Oh. Like, anyway. But yeah, before you go to the next point, so, yeah. yeah, I, I think for me, up. over like the last couple, okay, I don't want to say maybe in a, f- a few years now yeah. down the line, mm. I, I normalize complimenting people. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of my friends think I'm crazy. Yeah. Because to quote how, but I'm say I'm ever because what over here is a brown. I'm not gonna stop too. I'm like, let's stop this guy and tell him he's smart. Yeah. But he allowed to figure out. Because Miss Juke to figure out. Maybe I could have said, "Oh, Chiki, we're not doing. Chiki, you're pretty hot." And even in church, you'll be like, "Oh, you led well." This. Yeah, you did well. And it's something like people think when you tell someone, it's like you're fishing for you now. Who is telling? It's like yeah. you're fishing for 
like a level in their lives and yeah. you're like lakini sasa Ben Kale wamevaa poa sasa sitamshow umwambie peri leo kauliongoza press sitakushow mshiri sitakushow uli lead poa and i think that in something that's lacking with us yeah. Yeah. like it's very easy for the poor of the world to be the ones who throw compliments yeah. sisi tunaonanga ni kama sana nene nikamshow that's a bad thing sasa niambia worship team wamefanya kazi poa si wanajua no it's something we need to really change all around so that now even we continue repelling the things of people are in the ministry or in, or in church and they, they are not affirmed because like oh I got daddy issues and but we can change the narrative by telling people they they are good at They're something good. yeah, yeah. yeah. Also add, be a, stop stop feeding your insecurities by the content you're consuming mm. i love in, it if 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 if, if 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 you realize yeah you, part of your comparison is the life guys guys are living yeah. people in there and you know it kind of makes you feel a certain feel bad. stop feeding it yeah. as in stop feeding your insecurities by the content you're consuming yeah as in change content consumption yako oh hallelujah and and it, and it will dramatically change and shift your life thank yeah. you. The, the, you you can choose to each and every day we kuja tao to put on a podcast it could build up yeah or you Psycho can alternatively podcast. switch on to podcast ya mtiko mal Maldives. Maldives yeah, yeah. yeah. and then by the time you could you get tao you got depressed because you're not a globe in a car yani globe in a city like a i feel too be by but there's a lot of good content that can actually build you up yeah, yeah. and and we need there's a role we play we, we need to stop this thing of feeding our insecurities yeah. through content that that's not really that's not uh, not yeah. building us in any way mm-hmm. i think yeah. also uh one of the things now uh, in our church service pastor george is talking about the four things that must go yeah. and the first one he started with was fault finding fault the finding. spirit of fault finding yeah. and i think one of the ways you can conquer spirit of fault finding is make it a habit to say nice things about that person so you yeah. see that person that you really dislike just find something really good <laughs> about them you know yeah you do this over time you start realizing you are focusing more on the good than on the bad because the bible actually says that I love focuses it. on the good not on the bad and it's a it's a it's a, it's a habit you need it's a skill you need to form mm-hmm. so learn to compliment people learn yes. to tell them they did well on a video learn to yeah. tell to give them feedback they're well dressed yeah. even when you see somebody has changed for example if if you've been around somebody who has very, a very hot temper and then at one point kitu you happen na akose ku react at all you know that's that's growth motivate them before i jump in you know <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. so much <laughs> yeah so nice one man yeah. so Can yes the gentlemen today are really making me proud so let me clap for you guys you really really made me yeah, proud yeah up on number like pesa i like it ben and moshiri i love ah, them Wisdom. thank you, know. you so much ah. Mshiri kuna hiyo baby la manda mimi niwasomee baadaye. Utawasomea. Ah, nasomea baadaye. Good job guys, I like it. Thanks to you. Okay. Um so because time is really really flying. Like we just started like okay. we've just finished introducing ourselves yeah. and then Abel is there guys. 30 minutes are gone. <laughs> Bro, what's up man? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think we'll just tackle one last thing yeah. and then maybe we can move on. So I think of all this that I have remaining. Mm-hmm. Do we go to stumbling? Yes. Stumbling or what do what, what do you guys feel like you should go to? Because there's stumbling, there's the the demonic realms. Ah, demonic then there's competition and comparison. Oh, And I feel like the demonic realms is a bit we need some a bit of time. Yes. Which you don't have. Mm-hmm. Competition and comparison I feel like we've tackled it yeah, before. We have, we have. So let's go to this verse of do not mm-hmm. cause your fellow let me let me even just check yeah, the it's right from verse 42. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it, it's cause of, if mm-hmm. anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me to stumble, mm-hmm. it will be better for them if a large milestone were hung around their neck and they were thrown into the sea. You know if a, you know if a large milestone is hung around your neck, it means you're not going to float. Mm-hmm. Like you're going to stay inside the water. They're going to rot there and then piranhas are going to feed on you. Wow, yeah. piranha the movie. Yeah, piranhas. This piranha is a fish. So, what does this stumbling thing mean? Cuz most times in the context that I've had this it's mostly addressed to women mm-hmm. and they're dressing. Nambua, huku watu hawavangi jeans ama watu hawavangi this kind of dresses cuz you'll make the brothers fall. It's always like that's always the, the, the yeah. that's always the verse that people Why? use to back up. You know do. And now me, I feel I usually feel a certain type of way oh, because chaos. to mengi a church hata nyimba si mwache kuvaa hizo masoti shirts. 
You see, 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 Ben, I keep Ben is back. Guys, the fact is mentioned Wait, Alex. I'm sorry for my behavior. Yes. But you know, it's true what Becky is. But now it's because I, I only say that because that time when this scripture used to be used, yeah. I used to feel very bad because now we're in church and yeah. a lot of just talk to to our youths. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It has come to my attention. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, I used to wear So, I used to wear So, I used to wear it. I Ah, yeah, yeah, okay, fun Kusha. fact, I, I wore a trouser the first time, I think, when I was 22. What? Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Because okay. it was illegal. Okay, everyone is shook. Okay. <laughs> Tuko na story time siku moja. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and the day I wore it, okay, this is... No, I think Tuko, we can finish because this is the <laughs> one we're finishing. We have like a lose 15 minutes. And the day I wore it, uh-huh. I had to call my parents and tell them. Na wako ushago, I'm like, mom, dad, today I wore a trouser. And so in case anyone sees me and tells you, now I'll start with... Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, and wow. I think I was 22. That's causing the stumbling. Because then, like, yeah. even me, there are times I'll go home. Stumble your day. There are times I go home, my mom was like, Uli, for church. But it's because they are the older generation yeah. and stuff. But yeah, like, I went to those churches where, so I see it on a costumble. Oh, father, look, Nili Kujanga Nairobi, Nikenda Kanisa, Ingina, Niko. Asha's were my vast talkings. Yeah. What is this? Chaos. Chaos. So now the, the, the reason I used to feel that is because every time we were called for those two meetings, mm. it was always addressing the chicks. Yeah. The guys were never called out on yep. anything. But and we used to be read for this verse. Mm. And I'm like, and then yeah. as girls were like, but sit down at Wangusha. Makolon, Makolon, Juinini. Okay, excuse me, Kwanga Nikuva, Nisaf. But no, those are the things you know us used to try to justify. I love it. Jizetun is legend, it was Nitangwa Savko. I know. Sasa, Chalia may come, Najin's church to call. Hey, wow. Now, when you're so many of us, maybe I'm a sag. Well, she watches. Okay. But yeah, that's why I, I, always so used, I always used to feel a type of way because now this mm. scripture. Yeah. yeah. Good, it good, very, very good, good, very, very good analogy. But I like that. Me and my Ushago mm. church, proceed. It's not about even Ushago. It's <laughs> what, just the sense of. You see, the way now Becky is saying about girls wearing short skirts, Ninini. Let me tell you, and like, for me, my mom taught me a girl should not wear trousers in church. Never. And I mean, never. Because I used to fellowship at, at Pakistan. Yeah, so so never. Like, come on, come to a bapo. Anyone will tell you. Personally, like, would never wear trousers in. Never. Actually, when I actually made my first move here, we used to wear dresses every Sunday. Every Sunday. Come and see dress in a skirt. Now see skirt foopy. My friend, it... Mm. Bro, like, I couldn't. Yeah. I could. So I was like, I was thinking, I was like, I was shocked. Yes. yes. And, 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 you know what I mean? I was really shocked. But I get what Becky is saying. Even stumbling. Like, so there's so many things. Oh, so you're having tattoos. Oh, you're pierced. Because of your topic. I don't know. So it's maybe okay. let me read it in the message version. Yeah. And then we can dissect it further. Yeah. So message ver- version says, mm-hmm. Mark, Mark chapter 9 verses 42 says, yeah. on the other hand, mm-hmm. if you give one of, the, one of these simple childlike believers a hard time yeah. bullying or taking advantage of their simple trust mm-hmm. you'll soon wish you hadn't you'd be better off dropped in the middle of the lake with a milestone around your neck mm. Ushiri. that's so hard can you address it the way paul there's a similar situation in, in paul addresses and it was yeah. in, in terms of meat given to idols mm. now you see your time here yeah, is occurring those yeah, churches yeah. Yani, yeah. and he's an idol yeah. that meets that mm. maybe an idol since it's, it's an idol mm. it will be sold in the market mm. so they you can eat it yani, you can mm. buy and eat it yeah. but then here's the thing someone who's a new believer conscience yake equal like, like hey, a meated meat idol mm. nini. so Paul was saying he'd rather not eat meat if it's gonna cause this person Conscience is going to torment because I'm going to pull like people meat. Mm-hmm. And so there's a party says everything is permissible, but, but not everything is beneficial. Yeah. And so you can't place that standard on you yourself. So you ask yourself, but it's the, permissible. The part that confuses okay. me, Moshiri, is mm-hmm. yeah. so are you putting this responsibility on 
on now should i be should i walk around always so careful uh, 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 you know i don't know for example if let's say you if tomorrow i buy a uh, uh, prado and and you know now all of a sudden i can't post it because i'll make other people covet and they also responsible for their own well, behaviors because maybe i'm testifying or i'm just happy for, 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 for every level god takes you yeah the responsibilities change mm-hmm. if, if he's gonna put you into a nini let me tell you your responsibility to eat to whatever he's taken you yeah it's higher than you go you got to uko but it's two way because yes you can make somebody covet but then also maybe it can also inspire somebody like aya kumbe historia mungu ilikuwa inapeleka uja mama ali and like okay me i want this god you see like now ben that's two way vile sasa uko na there's influence and what yeah. and you carry the name yeah you get in a tattoo will be a bigger deal than <laughs> yeah but some yeah. come to me again yeah. by the yeah. it, it's going to be dissected and yeah. analyzed and super analyzed yeah point is it places a higher responsibility on you based on ile level of mekpeleka but that doesn't mean mm-hmm. it eliminates ile responsible responsibility of the rest yani yeah. Yeah, so like what you're saying dressing this thing when you're watch when you're angalia i think yeah, that yeah, i have yeah, yeah. the nini responsibility to actually have to cultivate <laughs> fruit of the holy spirit mm-hmm. self control mm-hmm. unajua yeah otherwise at a dem of lay bui 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 bado ata last bado ata ko eh bado ata last kama ita ko ata ko dem yeah i don't think it itaisha and also think kuna hii extreme we take hiyo ya last whereby tunatonga all the time people mm. but we never teach someone that actually self control yeah. is a fruit of the holy spirit Yeah. It's something you develop. Mm. Yeah. So na kutoa mjamali tolewa pepo Sunday. <laughs> Sunday na. Nimerudi tena. Mzee yerudi. Tuesday ametiki eh? Na imerudi. Because because also Moshiri, mm-hmm. if if you if we go through this verse again, it yeah. might actually mean something, something else, else different. Yeah. Yeah. On the other hand, if you give one of these simple childlike believers a hard time, bullying or taking advantage of their simple trust, you'll wish you hadn't and and the, the hard time that Jesus had mentioned in the book of Matthew chapter 23 mm-hmm. was the Pharisees had introduced new rules and laws mm-hmm. that did not really exist and he even called them a brood of vipers because they were walikuwa naambia wasio wafanye vitu na hao wenyewe hata wafanya ngi hizo vitu so they make it so hard for for the people who are they make it, they made they made following the law so hard and maybe that's another way we can also look at it for people who like also making the gospel look so hard by introducing yeah. so many rules you can't do this you can't do that you can't do the other yet this person is actually a very young believer yeah. that's let me repeat it on the other hand if you give this simple child like believers a hard time if you give this uh, child like believers a hard time bullying or taking advantage of their simple trust you'll soon you'll soon wish you hadn't then this is also a responsibility on 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 on, on, on who exactly cc on on us or whoever <laughs> whoever is, is is that leadership position mm-hmm. or something like that that you need to also be very careful such that you don't make it so hard for the people who just joined the faith by yeah. giving them unnecessary you know unnecessary demands or so practically in kama yeah you've imposed on them a dress code mm-hmm. now you're preventing them to enter the kingdom of heaven Because of, the because of a dress code so this person backslides yeah. Yeah. because they feel like me i can't change my dress code yeah. so whom say me miss out on love your christ yet yet yeah kwa hiyo love yote ya christ hakuna mali hata ashawaifikiria about i don't know dress code was was really uku bottom barrel he's more focused on on your heart yeah. on your behavior on your fellowship mm-hmm. on how you behave so we 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 impose so many strict stuff because i remember mini kwa shule like tukiwa primo madem walikuwa nafaka kunyoa wote mas na walikuwa wamenyoa man mm. so you can imagine my confusion when i went to high school i love to mend a funky state house girls i love the all these light <laughs> girls <laughs> yani unasikia kuchizi unajua juvenile city ilikuwa love wa madem excuse ilikuwa nga at your focus on masomo yeah that's what the rules are always introduced on women i don't even know why never the men it's always like the women are supposed to shape their hair they're not supposed to dress like that it's a dangerous thing because it absolves that that sense of responsibility yeah for you actually putting a control on your own desires yeah unajua 
so I can say no, you know, I fell because she like was Alika. yeah overdressing and whatever. Mm. It it absorbs you in a kind of way from personal responsibility. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting one. Well, let let's know what you think about <laughs> yeah. um Please. making uh, another believer fall. What what does what, it mean to you? Does, yeah. Please leave that on the comment section below because that would be very, very interesting. Is there anything, guys, you feel like, you know, uh, Becky, do you feel like you have something else you need to add on top of this chapter? I think I was just going to just say that the scripture Moshe was referring to is yeah. um, First Corinthians chapter 8. So as we say, like, Moshe went home with home at Hena. But I think now what you've said now comes in up First of Corinthians, First Corinthians chapter 8. First Corinthians chapter 8, yeah. It's a, verse what? From verse 1 to... 13. Mm. But now the verse he was also saying is the one, verse 9, where it says, be careful that the exercise of your freedom does not become a stumbling block to the weak. So again, but it still embodies us to its personal responsibility on both ends. Like, we will not pick a section of scripture to suit now me as I am. Like, it's my responsibility also to exercise self-control. To know those things, yeah. Like, it's Akunati, this side versus this side. We're all supposed to be responsible yeah. in our faith, yeah. yeah I think we should, we should also practice modesty. And I was talk, talking about it. Part of the fear, what we go by, um, actually, is on my revival meetings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is your dress code, at times, in a hindrance. Oh, yeah. Because now, if you're wearing a short skirt, what on a kilo mikono, you're so afraid of falling down <laughs> yeah okay. and things and any oh you applied so much makeup <laughs> but you're afraid of of, of 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 being <laughs> broken down be, before god because you're gonna cry a lot and it's gonna so clothing yako becomes a hindrance for you engaging with god yeah because that's okay my image yangu yani look yangu najua has to be maintained yet what god is looking for is that broken spirit, Yanni? Yeah. So and I'm the, saying your your dressing. Yeah. At times it can become a hindrance. It can become a because hindrance, but I also feel, I feel consciously all the time. I feel like I strongly need to say modesty is not length. Mm-hmm. Okay. Love it. It's not Love length. It. Love it. Yeah, it's not like because I think a lot of times always yeah she was in a short skirt mm. and she was like it's not length. Modesty is also it's something that you'll have to work in yourself. But let let us not always put it at length. Yeah. Because length is like limiting. Because even that's another. Plus when length. Go, Who is the guy that gets a tape measure chart? Hey, let us do tape measure. We can let him go up. You know, but like. But it's not just four, four inches. 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 I'm yeah. a boy. We should not wear shorts. I think shorts. Yeah, people. I hate, shorts, I hate it when t-shirts. people. Yeah, I hate it when people make Masashi. it look like it's the biblical truth. It's not because this story for making somebody stumble. It's really a wisdom kind of thing. For example, if you go to let's say Kitui, because there was a time we did missions <laughs> in Kitui over there to learn the dog Kitui man. So what would happen there? Like you find people there are different. The way they perceive culture is also very different. So them seeing a, a lady in like a very very short skirt that. You know, they, they're not used to that, you know. But then also now you can go to another country, for example, where it's, it's actually, let's say, let's say it's actually an island where people walking shirtless is really not a big deal. Because who could jot on a mob, beach in a kwangapo all the time, or say probably or metoka swimo. So it's not a big deal for them. So in such a place, no one cares. So I think it's an issue of wisdom for you to understand where you are. And the people who are around that space, because kuna wasi awata get. If you're meeting, let's say for example, if you're meeting guys from the older generation, let me tell you, those ones are hard to convince. Like you will never change their minds. Like forget about changing their minds. It's just about you know being just being modest when you're around them, and then maybe when you're with your friends and it's normal and all, it, you you it's it's a really an issue of wisdom. But the 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 excuse of people using that I stumbled because this lady was like this, you know. I, I with this happened because of this, and and you see, you you would even see some sick minds still using that even for rape. You know that this maybe this chick yeah. was raped because yeah. she was dressed like this. Yet we've seen them rape babies. Was the baby dressed? Well, how was the baby supposed to dress? You know. So it doesn't it doesn't really uh, make sense. But it's really a p- point and a place of wisdom for you to use your brain, your God-given brain, to, and see, engage the situation that our partner is in Daivi, our partner is in Daivi. And also think, if yeah. you put, there's a, something related. Paul actually said, he removes everything that be, can become a hindrance for him spreading the gospel. As you said, you are Kitui. Let's say you went, people you're evangelizing to, 
they are very conservative. Okay, what does it cost you yeah. to really adjust to so be conservative? It's a price for you to so, spread the yeah. gospel. Because you're saying, okay, you're saying you have arguments. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. But then it's becoming a hindrance. Yeah. So Paul was saying, anything he thinks to himself, yes, it's permissible, and yeah. he has no problem yeah. living it. But if it becomes a hindrance for him spreading the gospel, yeah. that thing would rather go yeah. than Nini. Definitely. So, again, you're dressing. If it becomes a hindrance, you find the audience yako is too conservative and that is what is becoming yeah. a stumbling block. And that's why Jesus is saying, remove that eye. Yeah. In this eye, it will be this thing I'm holding to. I'm allowed to eat, to have it. But if, if it constantly becomes a stumbling block, you can remove it. You remove it, not you can. You remove eh, it. Eh, if you have tats, let's say all over your arm, you can just cover your arm. Eh. Until you, okay, but, yeah. but if you have dreadlocks, when, when you come, it, 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 you can me. cover them. <laughs> yeah. If you're a lady, and let's say you're in a, let's say you're in a, in a, in a, in a, in a different kind of religion yeah. setup, you can cover your head. It's, you don't start by saying, we may adiku wapi. At that yeah. point, you can, that just, militant, you can just apply. Yeah. that militant attitude, tena tunakuanga nayo, yeah. which is another side yenyewe, whereby, lazimu kwe defensive. Yeah. Ime andiku wapi. Yeah. Yani, we, we, you get, yeah. Paul had that, he, he put the gospel before everything else. Yeah. His own comfort. Nice one. Thank you so much, guys. Um, Thank you. Appreciate having. you so much. Thank you for just taking us through Mark chapter 9. Thank you for just watching this video throughout this whole time. I don't even know how long we, we had started by saying <laughs> that we will do this for 30. It's one hour. Yeah, Abel, is, Abel is just telling, doing this to me. I, don't, I hope it's not one day. Yeah? <laughs> wow. <But> it's <laughs> been a good hours. one. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, like and share. Uh, on Saturday, uh, the City Lighters Church is going to be having two meetings at the Arboretum. One is called GLOW. GLOW is, is a Glow group ministry. of ladies in church. All the ladies in church have All this group ladies. called Glow. Is it, it's open even it's for open guys for who are not part of yeah. City Lights. Yes, yes, right? yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Although Glow is normally a bit boring, there's another cooler wow. group. There's another ben. cooler, hotter, fire group called ben. Plug. Now, Plug is just for the men. Plug is so fire. Yani, there was even a time some ladies were, they wanted to come attend our meetings. They were like, you know what? Not now, guys. Just, just, just cut it, you know? So wow. the men are also meeting. The City Lighters men are also going to be meeting on Saturday. It's not, it's not a competition. It's not a comparison. It's just facts. It's a collab, actually. You can't fight with facts. You it's a collaboration. It's a collaboration. Yeah. So, so we're going to be having these meetings uh, on, on, uh, on Saturday. at 17th. Abor- at, 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 this is 17th. Uh, Aboretum from 10 a.m. all the way to 1 p.m. So you can invite your friend. See you there even if you're you're not a member of city lighters you're you're most welcome, you're welcome. Yeah, if they ask you and we'll do one cycle and then on sunday we're going to be having our service as usual and then we normally have prayers between nine and ten where we just meet at uhuru park we pray and then we come to church we first come half tea and then church starts at around 10 45 all the way to 1 p.m yes. thank you so much for staying tuned so do you want to close for us with a word of prayer? Yes, Let's no do it. problem. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you. We praise you, Lord. It is amazing, oh God, my Father, to share your word. Thank you for the amazing time. Been able to, uh, you know, break down Mark chapter 9. I pray that, Lord, this um, particular chapter that Lord's going to, you know, make people see it different, oh God, my Father, Lord. May you receive all the glory, all the honor, the adoration. Thank you for the panels. Panelists today, thank you for Moshi, thank you for Becky, Ben, and myself. Oh God, I pray that Lord, you shall continue guiding us and inspiring us. And, you know, allowing the Holy Spirit, oh God, to continue ministering to us. And for the viewers, we pray that Lord, lives are going to be transformed and changed. Father, we thank you, we praise you, and we worship you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a good week. Bye, guys. See you guys. Blessings. <laughs>